Hi, for this uh, recording, I'm going to show talk about a technique of integration called the reduction formula. So the first part of the question to show that integration of x power 2n times e power 3x from 0 to 1, let's say this is i n, show that i n is equal to 1 minus 2n over 3 times e q over 3 plus 2n times 2n minus 1 over 9 times i n minus 1. This is called a reduction formula. And then afterward, we're going to use this information to help us to evaluate i1. So now before we do this, you must know the how to integrate i n first. Now to do i n, you need to know integration by part. So let's re recall a little bit of integration by part here. Okay, so the statement of integration by part you can find in the David Brennan text, page 285. So if I have a uh, integration of f g prime, this is equal to f of g, f times g minus integration of f prime g. So how do we use this? Let's look at the solution we have. So uh, we will say the first term is x power 2 is fx here. And the second term is uh, e power 3x, we call it g prime. So I have, so I have f, fx, x, y, g prime. Now for fx, I don't need to differentiate. I get f prime x. 2n x 2n minus my differentiation. And for g prime, I need to integrate the gx equal to e power 3x over 3. So integration by part will say that integration of f g prime in this case is equal to f g minus integration of f prime g. Now putting this, all this together, right? Putting all these things together, then I'll have this means that integration of x e3x dx is equal to fg so you get x2n e3x over 3 minus f prime which is 2n x2n minus 1 g is e3x dx and then you put in the limit and this is how you get in equal to this expression now, after you got this, this we have another integral, right? So this one is another integral. So, in order to continue, after simplify, so you find out after pull up common term, so this is another integral, and by part again. So we put in a limit of x equals 0 to 1 for the first term. So we're going to do by part. So in, to, in order to integrate this, I can say that, OK, let's try another one. So another integration, let's say f if 1 g prime is e3x, then you have f prime is equal to for f you differentiate you get 2n minus 1 x power 2n minus 2 and g will be e 3x over 3 so uh, having done this then we have this f of g okay f g prime okay which is f g minus integration of f prime g. So that means that integration of x power to m minus 1 e 3x integrate that is equal to f g so we get x to m minus 1 x power to m minus 1 e 3x over 3 minus 
f prime is 2n minus 1 x 2n minus 2 g e 3x over 3 dx alright so making use of this so this is how we know the second integral after by part after you put in the limit so after you put in the limit the second integral so you end up and notice that the this is what we call i n minus 1 because remember i n remember the i n here yeah? equal to 0 to 1 x part 2 and e3x so i n minus 1 put n equal to minus 1 x power 2 n minus 1 e3x dx and this y is called i n i n minus 1 okay so this y is called i n minus 1 and then we substitute the term into okay we have this integral substitute so it means substitute into where into here okay i n is equal to i n is equal to this which is equal to this and then you substitute the this term okay substitute this one we just obtain by this expression and you know eventually I n equal to this after substitution okay now I'm going to show you how to compute I1 by using this reduction formula first I put n equal to 1 first I get I1 equal to 1 minus n equal to 1 2 third e cubed over 3 plus n equal to 1 equal to 2 times 2 minus 1 is 1 over 9 i n equal to 1 equal to i 0 and i 0 remember is integration was 0 to 1 x power 2 times 0 is 0 e power 3x dx here which is integration of e power 3x dx is e power 3x over 3 from 0 to 1 which will give you e power 3 over 3 minus e power 0 which is 1 over 3 so i 0 is equal to 1 third of e cubed minus 1 now having no this is i 0 now I'm going to substitute this i0 into here so i1 so let me write now using different different substitution so i1 is equal to 1 minus 1 minus 2 third is 1 third 1 third times 1 over 3 is 1 over 9 eq plus 2 over 9 i0 i0 is 1 third of eq minus 1 and this will give you 1 over 9 eq plus 2 over 27 eq minus 1 and can combine them together and this will be 27 1 over 3 eq plus 2 eq minus 2 and that will give me 1 over 27 5 eq minus 2 okay so this is how we find i1 using this reduction formula this end the recording